Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, I'm bringing you back into the warehouse so that I can show you my top five favorite hidden weapons. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. So as you know, we carry a whole lot of stun guns. You see me use them in a lot of our videos, and we carry a lot of different hidden type stun guns, like uh, the hidden stun cane, for instance, that you saw in one of my previous videos, or the hidden pen stun gun, or um, the hidden key fob stun gun that I showed in last week's video. But we got a new one that I really like, which is my first favorite hidden weapon, and that is the cell phone stun gun. I'm just gonna pull it out. So if you look at this, we have another smartphone stun gun that we carry, but this one in particular looks very similar to a regular smartphone that you might carry. It doesn't have any weird things on the screen or anything. It just looks like a normal cell phone, which I love. I mean, how inconspicuous is that if I were to be talking on the phone? It's pretty awesome. And this actually has a couple of different features on it. So if we uh, put on the power button, you can use these buttons on the side over here. And the first one shines in LED light. The second one has an alarm. Now, if you have headphones on, make sure you're careful because this is going to be loud. So as you can tell, that's a very loud personal alarm that will grab people's attention if you're being attacked. So in my opinion, that's an awesome feature to have. And then if we change to the other power switch, now we actually, you can see the red lights on, which means that the stun gun is ready to go. And it becomes a fully charged stun gun. But uh, I'm gonna take you to uh, another room in the warehouse and we're gonna check out some of our other hidden weapons. So just go ahead and follow me. Um, one thing I should state while we're walking over there is that concealed weapons, hidden weapons, there's a lot of laws surrounding them. So depending on what country you're watching this from, what state, what city, definitely check your local laws before carrying any sort of hidden weapon. And then also, don't use any sort of weapon unless you are actually in physical danger. These are only to be used in the last resort. But let's go in here and just check out uh, what else we have. So let's see. All right, I think I'm gonna show you guys this. This one's pretty awesome. This would definitely be my number two favorite hidden weapon. And this is the hidden brush spike. So if you look at it, it looks like a normal hairbrush. I think it, uh, yeah, actually works pretty well. Feels like a normal hairbrush, I like it. Um, so this would be great to just put in your purse or something in case you were uh, wanting a weapon, in case you were attacked. Uh, but in order to use it, all you do is you take off that part and we've got a spike that um, is actually really sharp and really strong. Uh, this is made out of a hardened polypropylene. Um, so it's not metal, but it's uh, actually extremely durable and extremely strong. Um, yeah, you know what? I'd like to actually test this out on something really quick just to see how strong it is. Um, unfortunately, I didn't bring anything back here to really stab. So, uh, we're gonna walk out front really quick and just grab, um, I've got some pumpkins and some gourds that I brought in. Four videos, I wasn't planning on using them today, but I figure I'll just, I'll just stab one of them really quick. So just follow me. All right, so I grabbed these two guys. I thought this one was so cool. I saw this at the store and it just looked so unique. Um, and what I like about it is it's got a little bit thicker and stronger skin than a normal pumpkin. Um, so I think that'll give us a good test as to whether this uh, is strong enough to actually uh, penetrate, um, you know, something that's more dense. So let's go ahead and just give it a try. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's really in there. So yeah, as you can see, that is a, actually a really good weapon. I think this is uh, this is definitely one of my favorite hidden weapons. Um, it looks cool and uh, is kind of inconspicuous. I think it's just an awesome hidden weapon. So let's go check out uh, something else back there. All right, so the next weapon I'm gonna show you guys is actually my favorite of all the hidden weapons we sell on KarateMart.com. 
So this weapon is right here. And this is the hidden belt knife. I absolutely love these things because they are so easy to conceal. So if we look at this, we just have a belt buckle and then this long nylon belt. And what's nice about that is it's easily adjustable. So it's one size fits most. If we look at it, it's, it's way too large for me right now. So I'm just gonna adjust that really quick. So all we have to do is take this latch and open that up and adjust this down to the right size, probably about there, close it, and then wrap it around our waist and connect it. And there we go. We've got a very nice concealed belt knife. So if you're ever being attacked, if you're ever in danger, all you do is take out this knife and it actually comes out and it's a really nice serrated blade. So I absolutely love this thing. I think it's a good quality knife. Um, then to put it back in, you just kind of slide it back in there and then it's your belt again. But let's move on to the next hidden weapon I have for you guys. So the fourth hidden weapon I'm gonna show you today is the hidden sword cane. And we sell a bunch of different sword canes on KarateMart.com, but I really like this one for a couple of reasons. So let's just take a look at it. All right, so first off, you can just tell this is a really good quality sword cane. It can take a lot of weight, it feels really durable, like you could actually use this to strike by itself. But if you were ever attacked, all you'd have to do is grab onto here and yank out the sword. There's no twisting, you don't have to unscrew anything, you just yank out the sword because it uses compression to hold the sword into the body of the cane. And what's really nice about this is it actually has a carbon steel blade on it, a 1060 carbon steel blade that you could actually sharpen up really nicely if you wanted to. So I love this sword cane. I think it's so good. I think it's a really well-made sword cane um, and it just goes back into place just that easily. And it's just a really cool hidden weapon. But let's go ahead and check out our fifth hidden weapon today. So when I was making my list of my top five favorite hidden weapons, the thing that kept coming to mind is which weapon would I want if I was ever attacked in a close quarter situation? And the best weapon I could think of that I would personally want is a neck knife. And we sell a bunch of different neck knives on KarateMart.com in all different styles, but we just got this new one that I'm really into. And this is the Stealth Karambit neck knife. So if we look at it, it's just a knife that kind of comes around your neck like that. But if you need it, all you do is you grab the knife, pull it out, and you've got a great weapon there to protect yourself. So if I was to personally use this, I would probably put it underneath a jacket or underneath my shirt. And what's so great about this is it's such a thin knife that you can't even tell I really have it on, even under this really thin shirt. So if I needed it, if I was ever attacked, I could just get reach under, pull it out, and I've got myself a really nice karambit. And this is a really cool karambit too. Like I, I like it, it's, uh, it's thin, it's comfortable. It's got this uh, unique texture on it that uh, makes it really easy to grip. Um, it's made out of 3CR13 steel, which is a really common steel for knives. Um, easy to sharpen, durable. Um, so this is a really nice neck knife. But if you have any questions on any of the hidden weapons I showed off in this video, definitely leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel and definitely check out KarateMart.com to see all of the awesome hidden weapons we carry. But until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday.